uh, live performance. We have a, a studio audience here, as it were, sitting here in front of us. Uh, we were allowed to invite one person per student, and we're so, so happy to be able to sing live for people this semester. As you know, it's been a challenging time, um, and this is really beyond my wildest imagining. So thank you all for being here, and thank you to all of you who are out on the live stream. We're really, really glad you're here. I want to tell you, we're singing three pieces today. Two of them are by George Frederick Handel. Um, Handel was a British composer. Well, he was a German, born in Germany. In 1685, and those of you who have had Tom Paine's 213 Western Music class know that two other composers were born in exactly the same year. Those would be? Uh, and Italian, think Italian, keyboard things. Scarlatti, yes, you win, Dave Rabbit, it's good. Um, so it's a magical year, 1685. Um, he was born and uh, studied in Hamburg and then Italy, and then he moved to England where he did most of his composing. Uh, I thought it was really imperative that these students have an opportunity to sing some Handel while they were here. Um, and since this is a unique some year for us because we're doing accompanied pieces, usually we would be standing in the Great Hall where there's no room for an instrument. Um, the fact that we can do works with accompaniment made me think, okay, Handel is the way to go, that's what we have to do. So these are two coronation anthems. There's a set of four, these are two. We're doing Zadok the Priest, where the text is taken from 1 Kings from the Bible. It's a biblical text. It is a text that was used in every English coronation since that of King Edgar at Bath Abbey in 973. Now, I know William & Mary prides itself on tradition, but I don't think you can top that one. That's, that's a pretty long time. Handel's setting of this has been used at every single coronation since he wrote it for King George II in 1727. So ever since, these four coronation anthems have been performed in Westminster Abbey at the coronation. Um, though Handel was a German person, when just before George I died in 1727, it, one of his last acts was to naturalize Handel as a British citizen. So then Handel was engaged to write these. Um, if you know a lot about Handel, if you know Messiah and other works that he did, he borrows from himself a lot. So he can write these pieces in, in jig time. He does a really, really good job. We're singing Zadok first, and then at the end of the program, our third piece is gonna be Let Thy Hand Be Strengthened. The text is from Psalm 89. The other two pieces that we're not doing, the other two coronation anthems are My Heart is Indicting and The King Shall Rejoice. Um, this is so different because it's our, our, it's our COVID semester, COVID year, um, and that allows me to introduce you to my, now he's my right hand man, this is Dave Robbins. He is um, an accompanist who plays with the Virginia Symphony, Richmond Symphony, Richmond Ballet, and I work with him at my church. He is a wonderful, wonderful uh, human being and an exceptional musician, and I'm just always so grateful to make music with him. Before we start to sing, and I know they're jumping and ready to go, I would be remiss in not thanking Chandler Agate, who does all the sound support for us here. He works through Sadler, and he has been just a dream in making this work for us. And also Nick Holloman, who's doing our live stream. You can't see him, but he's behind the camera. So thank you, Nick. And with that, we're going to sing Zadok the Priest.
Christina Rossetti, set by Ole Gelo. Uh, Ole Gelo is a, a contemporary composer. I think he's originally uh, Norwegian, but he lives in the States now. He writes a lot. We've done a lot of his music. Um, it's stuff that resonates very comfortably uh, in terms of his musical language. It works well. The students come quickly to it, and it, it just feels good to sing. Um, this poem is perfect for Earth Day. It's called The Rose, and I'm going to read it in case our masks obscure your ability to hear what it is that we're saying. The lily has a smooth stalk, will never hurt your hand, but the rose upon her briar is lady of the land. There's sweetness in an apple tree and profit in the corn, but lady of all beauty is a rose upon a thorn. When with moss and honey she tips her bending briar and half unfolds her glowing heart, she sets the world on fire. So here's the rose by Ole Gelo. All dynamics, up and up, okay? No. But don't overstate.
um, talks a lot about justice, judgment, mercy, and truth, all those things that uh, people want in their leader, right? A good sense of justice, mercy, and truth. I'll leave it at that. Let thy hands. We down? You check it? Okay. <laughs>
Thank you so much for being here. Thanks all for our friends and family out in the live stream. Um, I was reminded that for some of our students here, this is their final concert with bots. And um, it is customary for us to sing the alma mater. And so I expect that all of you know the words to the alma mater out there. So I'm going to ask you to stand. Uh, if you're at home and you know the words, and I know Nick is singing along behind his mask because he knows these words very, very well. If you don't have music, I think Maddie handed out music to everybody that needs it here. I am remiss, we have not sung this this year. Um, but for our seniors, we have to do this. Can you give us a real A flat? <laughs> Hark the students. Are you guys ready? Oh, some of them must before they have to sing this. Okay. Hark the students. One, two, ready. Hark the students' voices swelling. students standing behind me. This has been a really incredibly um, difficult, I want to say challenging because everybody says that. It's been a really difficult year for so many reasons and for some of these students this is the only opportunity that they've had to see people face to face um, and not inside their four walls of their dorm or their apartment and um, they have stuck with it through thick and thin and they have made my life so um, it made it worthwhile to come down to campus and to work with them. They mean the world to me, um, and I am so grateful for all of their efforts this semester. It's been a lot, whether it's been, we can't rehearse this week because there's an outbreak or because these people have been quarantined or the, uh, the Wi-Fi doesn't work or the this or the that. It's just every day there's another challenge. If there's one thing that we have all learned from this year, flexibility and resilience, right? <laughs> That's really all you can say, um, but I have had such a pleasure working as always with these beautiful people. They make me weep, they sing so beautifully, and I love spending time with them. And I am so grateful to each and every one of you for all of your efforts this year. You're to be commended for sticking with it at a really challenging thing. So thanks to all of you. Yay. And with that, we say goodbye to our live stream family, and thanks once again for all of you who braved the weather today to come and hear us. <laughs> Thank you. You guys stay right there, because there's one last thing I have to do.